Hi, this is Dan from Fontspring talking about how to use two different fonts in your HTML layout um, without a lot of extra markup or uh, JavaScript tricks or anything like that. This may be particularly useful if you have a font that you really like for text and another font that you like the numerals and maybe they work really well together um, or if you have an ampersand that uh, that you really appreciate the design but want to use another font for text um, it may also be good if you're using a font that has uh, very limited characters and um, you wanted to use uh, um, a symbol or something like that, that that isn't available but maybe the default web font uh, a web safe font you don't like the symbol it doesn't mesh well with the font you're using um, so we're going to use uh, two different fonts um, for this demo and um, one of them is Book Mania by Mark Simonson and uh, I really like the ampersand it's only available in the italic version so we'll use that and I also thought that I would use this uh, Quadi font. It's just a cute slab serif. So I've downloaded these already, and they're in my downloads folder. And I'm also going to use uh, the HTML bi boilerplate um, just for this demo. It'll make it easier. Uh, it's available at HTML5boilerplate.com. And basically, it's just a template to start your website. So I've got that in here as well. If um, you open up the folder, all your files are in there, and uh, click on the index file, and it's just a basic uh, boilerplate website. And we're going to install um, Quadi and Bookmania into this layout um, where uh, it uses Bookmania for the ampersand and Quadi for the text. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is head on over to our sister site, Font Squirrel and we're going to use the generator that's available there to generate some new web fonts um, and more importantly we're going to use the uh, subsetting option in expert mode here um, to remove all the characters except for the ampersand um, and this is really the nuts and bolts of this little trick it's going to download bookmania first and try to use that for uh, styling the text and it'll only style the ampersand and then it'll fall back to the next font in the list which will be Quadi. I'm going to upload our Bookmania black but we need to use the italic version here to get the ampersand. Down here in subsetting we're going to click custom subsetting and rather than choosing one of the default options um, if we just type a ampersand there um, that's going to do the trick for us and download our kit. So now once we get our uh, kit back from Font Squirrel, it's going to have uh, all four of our web fonts and if we were to open them up they would only contain one glyph. Okay so here in our downloads folder is our uh, web font kit from Font Squirrel. And as you can see, uh, it's n the demo inside of the kit is not working, uh, except for the ampersand, because inside of the font, it only includes the ampersand. There you go. So let's, uh, let's install that in our uh, boilerplate. Inside of our CSS folder, we'll create a folder called Web Fonts, and take these uh, web fonts for Bookmania, drop them in there. And then we'll take the style sheet, copy our syntax here into our style sheet for the website. And we'll do the same thing for our Quadi fonts, only we can use the default kit from, uh, from FontSpring. We'll use Quadi Normal Book and do the same thing. We'll uh, add it to our web fonts folder and open up our style sheet get our syntax from there so now we've installed the fonts but now we need to use them so we'll just add a little bit of CSS and we'll say 
Now this is where the real real trick comes in. The first one we want to load is Bookmania. And the second one is going to be Quadi. Now a little trick, you're probably going to want to name these um, something other than the actual font names so that if the user actually has the font installed, um, it will still style your content correctly. So that's why I used um, custom names. Link everything up and let's go take a look at our boilerplate now. We need to fix uh, the URLs to our fonts because we put them in their own folder. Okay, now it is styling our text with Quadi, and if we edit our HTML and add an ampersand, it will use Bookmania for the ampersand. There you go, folks. That's how to use two different fonts in your layout without a lot of additional markup. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful. Remember, not all font licenses are created equal. Don't buy your fonts elsewhere and regret it later. Buy your fonts from FontSpring with confidence.